so hello friends i am neeraj hope you are doing fine and uh, in this session uh, we will be connecting our uh, uh, react uh, react native application with our api server so in the previous session we have already created our api server using uh, go fiber and that is already running fine and uh, all we have to do is we have to connect uh, our api server or with our mobile app and uh, in order to do so so we in the while we were developing this our contact screen so we have already marked it as a to do so let us complete this to do and uh, let us remove this to do and make it the uh, fully functional so let i i will get right of this and uh, this one also and here uh, we will be using axios for making our api calls and uh, so in order to do that Uh, make an API, API call so we have to actually uh, install axios within our uh, dependency tree so all we have to do is we have to write it something like npm install axios actually axios is external library so we have to simply just type in this command and hit enter and it will ac uh, install axios uh, with into our application so it is already been installed and uh, we will close that terminal and uh, here with using axios so axios returns a promise axios calls returns a promise so uh, the uh, so it uh, it has to be uh, uh, used in the conjunction with the async so we will this is our function so when user clicks on this send button so this submit form is called so we will make this function uh, asynchronous uh, in a asynchronous using async keyword and uh, we would be pretty much well to use await keyword so and uh, by the way like any promise whenever a uh, uh, api call returns a promise so that may fail so any error comes in a promise has three states actually so that is why it is uh, it is in uh, we use await keyword so we will wrap each and everything in a try catch block okay so like this so also we will create a api url so our end point so our end point would be api url and it would be however like in our, our application is running fine on using localhost port 8080 but since we are using device emulator so we need to use a, a different ip Uh, so that our uh, uh, our this mobile application can uh, com can communicate well to the outside world so the ip is 10.0.2.2 and uh, port 8080 as always as like before and uh, our route was contact that's it simple and now we will uh, initiate our uh, axios actual axios call so we will say const response so whatever response our call uh, provides so we will collect into this variable and we will say axios and since uh, we are going to initiate a post request so we will say post and the first parameter it takes is the url so we will say api url and the second parameter we have to uh, actually provide the whatever the form data so already we have already collected uh, the, the into this uh, json object so we will simply write it form data and simply like this and uh, whatever the api response is so let us see in the console log so console log and we will see response response dot data cause it returns a data and by the way we forgot to use the await keyword cause uh, since it is a asynchronous function and axios calls always returns a promise so that is why we use the uh, await keyword and if if in case there is any error so also we will console log the error console log and error simple so it looks to be fine and now it's it is time to test it so let us clear each and everything so yes so that is no uh, console errors so okay fine so let us try to run it 
so we'll provide our name so neeraj avinash and my mobile number is 12345678 and uh, we are testing with axios so let us try to send it let us see what happens so actually in the log so this is this has already returned a message and uh, it is returning your make your query has been successfully posted and in the payload so here whatever mobile number we entered mobile whatever name we entered and whatever query it was there so it it returned each and every stuff as in the same way like what we had uh, uh, provided in the fill in the in the in the uh, input area and with the success message also and we can also check it something like this like uh, we can say here we can we can also check what is the response code so console dot and let us type in here in the one and here response dot status so by the way so this uh, this response dot it is uh, dot status is uh, we we see that uh, in header so let us see that what it actually does so it returns a 200 response cause do you cause you may remember like when we tested our application that api, API endpoint using postman so it was return it, it has returned a 200 response code so this is why uh, this is the actual status the the api server returned so we can we can also get it and uh, we can also do our perform our, our operation based on this status maybe something like this we can write it like uh, f and uh, response dot status equal to equal to 200 then only write this console log or else don't do anything so we can do i mean we can uh, we can also uh, provide uh, we can also let us try to do it so let let me create a uh, another state variable so const form submitted and set form submitted equal to use state and here let us try make it false so our idea is like whenever if the form is submitted so instead of uh, displaying the whole uh, whole this form so we will simply display a nice message that okay so your form has been submitted so that user can get uh, something meaningful meaningful so we can do that so here we can set form submitted or let's make it api response and also update is set api response and we will simply call it this method and here we will say it uh, let's say make it uh, true what happens at api response yes fine and now this thing we can check in our view before render like rendering when we when we are rendering so we will say a text so it is this text and here we can say something like api api response and uh, we want it like if the api response value is true then we will uh, uh, show a message so uh, like uh, your form has been uh, posted or submitted so we will say form submitted and uh, so since so, so, so here we are saying the form has been submitted okay so 
we can we should do one more time one more time like uh, when uh, the uh, when this screen first loads so that is that text is not visible and when we submit it so neeraj and 1234 and uh, axios it's say wonderful and uh, when we now when we send it so here we are saying that form has been submitted and we when uh, i think like we can also hide the whole this form so we will again see something we will start a block and this time actually we will see api response and uh, we will say if api response is false then only show this form otherwise don't show the form so we will say something like this this and we will copy whole this form data and we will drop this data here something like this save it so we are not seeing the form and uh, if we uh, reload our screen for the very first time so the form we are seeing so this is it and uh, i think like uh, you enjoyed this session so anything any question or any doubt so please don't hesitate me or if you have any suggestion for me so please drop me a message and uh, i will incorporate your suggestions and advices in the my next coming sessions so till then take care and happy coding